Ladies and gents, welcome back to the channel. I am Savvy FM. Today we're taking a look at a tactic called the Full Attack 442. Absolutely nothing in the in the description right now. I'm going to guess this is one of those times where someone created a tactic, published it to Steam, and just kind of this is what they're using. Uh, I it, like the name Full Attack 442. Seems to imply that things are going to go well. Uh, we'll see what actually happens with our three teams in just a minute. But standard formation 442 it is a positive mentality. You have a bunch of attacking players. So this could go really well or really horribly. And we will see again in a minute. But we start out with a goalkeeper in defend. We have complete wing backs in attack on the left and the right. Ball playing defender in defend on the left and a, com and a central defender in defend on the right. Inverted wingers on in attack on both sides. A ball winning midfielder in support on the left, a deep line playmaker in defend on the right, an advance forward in attack up front on the left, and a deep line forward in support on the right. I'm going to assume that this was created for his team to be very specifically for his players and who he's got in his squad. So I'm really not sure how this is going to go. But uh, continuing on, in possession, attacking with his fairly wide, approach play is passed into space, underlap on the left and right, focus play down the left and right. Passing direct is slightly, uh, slightly more direct. Tempo is slightly higher. Final third is mixed crosses, hit early crosses, run at defense, and be more disciplined. In transition, counter press, counter, distribute quickly, distribute to the playmaker, and then take long kicks. And out of possession, a low block line of engagement, a higher defensive line. That's going to be interesting with everybody on attack, to me at least. Trigger press much more often, prevent short goalkeeper distribution, stay on feet, step up more, trap offside, or trap outside, and stop crosses now i kind of was going through thinking maybe this is for like a, a lower league tactic or even a you know championship or league one or two tactic but there's so many instructions here i don't think so because from what i remember reading at least throughout the years is that the more instructions you have the worse it becomes for the lower down the the ranks you are so a lower league tactic isn't going to have all this it's going to have you know just a handful of instructions and that's it um, so, with all that said, what do our three teams do? Absolutely abysmal. I mean, this is no offense to the guy who created it. Again, this is probably very specific for his team. But, and in this situation, at least this one situation where we simmed everything, this is probably the worst we've seen. Uh, 27 points for Wolves, 33 for Tottenham, both relegated. Newcastle somehow finding it out of the relegation zone with 37 points. Wow. So we're going to try and speed run this, but right now for Newcastle, doing the tops of our three teams, out in the Carabao Cup second round, 1-2 against Leeds. Uh, I mean, there's nothing going to be good about any of these teams. And then out against Manchester United in the FA Cup third round, 1-3. Ouch. Tottenham, I mean, look at that run. All the way down is absolutely awful. All those points. I mean, definitely someone would be fired uh, in a heartbeat. But Manchester United, 1-3 out against uh, them in the Carabao Cup fourth round. Uh, FA Cup fourth round, 1-5 against Liverpool. And then down in the Europa League, you're out in the round of 16 against, uh, well, Roma. Wolves, Carabao Cup third round is where you blow it. And Manchester United, I mean, the, the bogey team for this one. FA Cup fifth round, two all penalty loss in, uh, against Crystal Palace. And look at that. Transfer wise, no one really out for any kind of money. You've got Ronnie Edwards, Luis Semedo, John Luis Leca, Gianluca Mancini comes in from Roma. Wow. And Alassane Waltara from, I don't know, STVV. But you do have some money going out with Mancini. That's actually a pretty good pickup from what I've seen in the past. Everything else is just kind of small. For Tottenham, Hugo Lloris does go to Al Duhail for 4.2. In comes a lot of players. Rodrigo Macedo, Maxime Lopez, Luis Ward, Gabriel Barbosa, 20 million, and Borna Sosa. Funny enough, if you look at Tottenham's homepage, you promised Gabriel Barbosa qualifier for the UEFA Champions League. Well, that's not happening. Wolves not really getting any, rid of anyone. 775k is the only is the highest one. But you are bringing in a bunch of players. Chiquinho, Ricardo Fernandez, Ricardo Escayo. And we've seen some of them before. Uh, not a lot of money coming in. But still, you're bringing some players in. Squad-wise, St. Maximin, Botman, and Gumarais all up there with 39 appearances. As uh, Goals-wise, 14 for Isaac. St. Max with 10. 7 for Wilson. Assists, 7, 6, and 5. Gumarais, Almarone, and Isaac. Average rating, 703, the only one in the green, Alexander Isaac. If you haven't figured out, he's a really good player. Uh, yeah, this alone, in a tactic that does abysmally, this one, he's the only shining star. 
shining star. Harry Kane for Tottenham with 52 appearances. Pedro Porro with uh, 46 plus 4. Bettencourt with 45 plus 3. Goals-wise, 17 for Kane. Definitely a down year. 12 for Sun and Perisic with uh, 10. Assist-wise, 11 for Porro. Sun with 7 and 6 for Kulusevsky. Average rating, 7-10 for someone who's not even here. Frazier Forster is the only one, funny enough, the goalkeeper, who's impossible to get above 7, gets the 701. Wolves, Neto with 42 plus 1, 41 for Nunez, and Neves with 39 plus 1. Goals-wise, 25 Concedes, not even there. I mean, bring the dude back. But Cunha with 20, 9 for Kalajic, Costa with 6, as does Jimenez. Assist-wise, 12 for uh, Neto, Sarabia with 7, and 4 for Neves and Cunha. Uh, but both in, this, in the greens, not even at the club. Jose Sao with 6, 9, 5. So I'm skipping the Premier Division stats for teams itself because they were not, our three teams were nowhere in any of them. It's really sad. But Cunha in the most goals in fifth place with how much did he have? 17. Most assists, Pedro Neto in there with 10. Not too bad. Uh, but none of these, I mean, Pedro Porro in there with most dribbles made. Uh, fewest conceded, Fraser Forster. So you've got some people in here. Nunez with most tackles, one. Most key passes, neither are two. They're usually in there. Isaac with Newcastle, Cunha in there with most shots. I mean, it's just sad. It is really sad that nobody did well at all. Uh, and actually, if you just had two more points from Nottingham Forest, yeah, you would have been three teams that all three that were covering in the relegation zone. So uh, if you're, I mean, I can't say stay away from the tactic, but maybe have less instructions. It again, very specific for his club. I'm going to say in his players, but. I just had to take a look at it. It did not work. I apologize. But that is it for me. Seven FM for the Football Manager Blog Channel saying thank you as always for watching. Take care and enjoy. 